Daily Balance. Last season, a lady from our audience approached our producer, Donna Chavis, after one of our programs, and she said, are you ever going to do a show on retirement? This dear lady was facing retirement, and the uncertainty of it all was very overwhelming to her. So here at Daily Balance, we begin to think about what a milestone this really is for some people. How they find balance after a lifetime of working and then all of a sudden finding themselves in a very different situation. So today, we are joined by two recent retirees. Yes, we provided the answer today of who prefer to call it moving on instead of retirement. Later in the program, you'll meet a fascinating lady, former Chief Superior Court Judge Shirley Fulton. But my first guest is the most decorated promoter in NASCAR auto racing and is a member of seven halls of fame. He has spent 33 years as, as the president and general manager of Lowe's Motor Speedway, making him one of NASCAR's most familiar faces. Please welcome motorsports visionary and recent retiree, Humpy Wheeler. Hey, Humpy. So glad, so glad. I'm a hugger, so I'm a hugger. Nice to have you. Great pleasure to have Thank you. Thank you. Now, you, you are retired, but... You're still doing so much. I'm still working, yeah. You really are. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm trying to get a handle because obviously I'm not at the phase of retirement in my life. I'm at the peak of still working hard. How do you call yourself retired, but then you're still doing more than you were when you were working at NASCAR at the Lowe's Motor Speedway? Well, my friend Lou Holt says if you retire, you never have a day off. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> and uh, so I listened to him uh, when he said that. Uh, I just have always been active and want to stay active and... Uh, uh, keep my brain. Uh, you're doing a great job and, of that, and, and have fun in life too. And you yeah. look great. You're yeah, looking well, good. I, I feel good, and, <laughs> and uh, uh, I have a chance to spend a, a lot of time with my wife Pat, who's four, we've been married 46 years. All right. And uh, congratulations. And, and still work, you know. Good, good. And for your career, it was 33 years, right? Well, it was 33 years with uh, Speedway Motorsports and Lowe's right. Motor Speedway, running tracks and stuff. And then before that, I was with Firestone. Before that, I actually was in TV broadcasting. <laughs> and uh, so, at any rate, I've had a full, you know, 50 years, really, of of, uh, of work. Good. But I still enjoy it. Oh, that's a high-five moment. We have high-five okay. moments on our show. That's low-five, huh? That's low-five, right. like high. Yeah. Okay. okay <laughs> <laughs> My next guest has received honors from numerous organizations for her work in the courts and in the community. She is passionate about helping children and about making a positive impact in the lives of others. I am pleased to introduce former Chief Superior Court Judge Shirley Fulton. Hey, Judge, how are you? Uh, nice to have you here. Thank you. Great pleasure. You're so distinguished looking, wonderful looking <laughs> woman. You're royal. You know you royal, don't you? I try to be. Oh, I try to be. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What made you be a judge, become a judge anyway? Well, it wasn't exactly planned. Um, I went to law school, which was planned. Yes. Uh, and when I graduated, I was working. I was a single parent. Mm -hmm. And I decided I needed to find a job that would let me have more time to be a parent. Right. So I decided to take a job here in Charlotte as an assistant district attorney. When I came for my interview, however, and I was talking to Peter Gilchrist, who is still the district attorney. Yes. And the one question that Peter asked me that has stuck in my mind forever was, what would you like to be 10 years from now? Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself? Okay. I had not thought 10 years down the road. Okay. So what I said was, I'd like to be a judge. <laughs> <laughs> Little did you know, right? <laughs> Little did I know, but Peter said, I will help you. 
Good. We'll make sure that you accomplish that. And he has been with me every step of the way. And who is Peter again? Peter Gilchrist is our district attorney. Good. He has been the district attorney for many years. But he's been a personal mentor for you personally. He's been my mentor, my hero. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm really glad to hear that. And I know that you're personally very passionate about children. How did that all start for you? Well, one of my jobs with the district attorney's office was I was a prosecutor, of of course. Yes. I was prosecuting um, sex offense cases. Uh, And those cases involved children. Yes. So I saw some Uh. really, really heart-wrenching things that happened to children. And that just made me want to do things that would protect them and keep them safe. Good. Yeah. 